Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review, kind of a first impressions, but not really because I've been playing with this stuff, of Natasha Denona Color. Four of her quints, a lip palette, and then a blush. I actually wanted to get like five blushes, but let's be honest. I wish I was Beyonce, but I'm not. Let's just start out with the blush because I have one and I wanted to get something that was usually not the norm. I usually go for rosy blushes, like light peachy ones. So I wanted to get a pink. This is what it looks like. I love these colors. This one is called just number 19. Oh, so it's got two different blushes. So one, I don't know which one is which to be honest, but I don't think it matters if you want the whole thing. One is number 18 and one is number 19 and it's Renee's Pastel Pink and then just pink. So maybe this is Renee's and then this is the pink or this is Renee's and this is the pink, I have no idea. I absolutely love the color. I think that it's a very good blush for light skin, maybe to medium because these are really buildable because it picks up a lot of color. So it is, it's a very, I would say sheer but buildable blush. I don't know how well the swatches are gonna do, definitely. Uh, I don't know if you can tell you can see like it just is so pretty it gives like the perfect flush on your face and if you are blonde or if you lean if you can wear cool colors this would be a really pretty duo for you so I got the lip palette in mahogany nude so pretty I've never owned a lip palette before I'm wearing this porn star color right here I didn't realize how light it would be but it's pretty much like Jenna Jameson porn star. So what's just nice is that the back has all of the individual colors. It's on like these, you can buy these individually once Beautylish gets the lipsticks, but I couldn't wait. So I've been dying to try her lipsticks. Smoky Rose, Smoky Nude, Ballerina, Real Lip, number 52, and then Medium Smoky Rose, which I don't know how they get a medium color. It's gorgeous though. For a nudist this is the what i am wearing with this color today and it really reminds me of that so i'm down i'm digging it i'm down for it so if you like rosy toned nude colors you will love this palette oh to the eyeshadows because these i have never used an eyeshadow that applies so effortlessly and buttery and just smooth sailing watched some reviews on youtube and I don't know if they are just reviewing the like MAC Daddy palettes or these, but they don't get great reviews. And I don't see how these could not get great for you reviews. I know everybody is entitled to their opinion, but these, I have never used a better eyeshadow in my freaking life. So let's just start out with what the majority of the one that I'm using or the one that's pretty much on my eyes today. And that is... This is the eyeshadow palette in number nine. So this is, if you like the silvery greens, you will love this palette. I have just kind of like these two colors on, one on my outer part and then one on my inner part. And I know that a lot of times you would want a matte in your crease. I like to wear a matte in my crease and on my highlight, I don't like to wear shimmery highlights or have really shimmer through my crease, but somehow, when you apply just like a little bit in your crease, these work. I mean, it just works beautifully in the crease, on the lid, no matter how you wear it. The next one, and this one I was surprised that I picked up was number eight. So this is has a bunch of different, like a range of colors, which I like. This middle shade is to die for. It's just like this really highly Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. This is what I'm talking about, it's amazing. And then when you put it on your lid, or just watching it, it is so incredibly pigmented. You could probably wear this as a blush. I mean, they've got some shimmer to it, but it's nothing that's going to be too, too much. So that, that would make a beautiful blush or a highlight for somebody who has darker skin. So number eight, I really like. was on my list when I first even heard about Natasha Denona, and it is number four. If you love warm colors, this is basically a wet dream for you. Amazing array of shades. I wore this on my lid yesterday. Like, it looks so metallic. These are so metallic that it, they almost look wet. Like you apply them wet, like they're a cream. I mean, they are phenomenal. So that is number four. It's just 
so nice. It was my first palette that I purchased from her when like the first round of palettes came in before they launched everything. This is number five, definitely out of my comfort zone, but I don't know, these two colors just kind of intrigued me, especially this one. It's this beautiful uh, silvery green color. And this is just if you love purples, if you've got green eyes, I think that you would like this one, number 10. And it's got all of the names on the backs of them. I really love these shadows and I think that they are so worth it. I did a video on her glow system that I'll link below if you miss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.